Let's talk about test failures. We're looking here at a project where test suites have been broken for months. No one is fixing those tests anymore, and that results in even more tests starting to fail. If you would look at the test report for a single build, you don't know where to start fixing the tests. The failed tests could be flaky tests, broken tests, or healthy tests that detected a real bug in your code under test. Let's see how the test failure dashboard can help us here. The first thing we're trying to understand is which tests are completely broken. They're usually easier to fix than flaky tests. We can see that there is an obvious list of test cases that fail most frequently. Let's look at browser test. We can see here when it started to fail constantly. You can also see the individual test methods and their behavior. Here's performance test, which started to be broken a little bit later. We ask our developers to fix both of them. Let's extend the time period of the dashboard to include the week after this was fixed. You can see that there are less test failures. You can also see that the browser test case is no longer broken. Neither is the performance test case.